Now to a health alert for soon-to-be moms. New studies show exposure to a certain chemical may be unsafe for your unborn child. The materials are found in fireworks and fertilizers. It's called per perchlorate, and it can disrupt your hormones. Frequent exposure may decrease the thyroid hormone levels in the fetus that are necessary for brain development, and this could lead to issues after birth. Joining us this morning is Dr. Gregory Kainz with UF Health Jacksonville. Thanks morning. for being with us Thanks this so morning, much. Dr. Kainz. Um, so we, uh, we hear a lot about these things. They come and go. They're controversial. How seriously should we take this latest warning? Like all things, uh, uh, the amount of um, chemicals you put in your body is what affects the uh, consequences. So for pregnant women in particular, um, staying healthy, avoiding um, excess exposures, if you will, whether it's to cleaning products, um, things that are in your drinking water, um, as well as um, other illnesses are super important. What do you think about this perchlorate? Yeah, it's an interesting uh, chemical because it's naturally occurring and it also is part of a lot of industrial manufacturing and ends up in our drinking water. So anything that touches water could potentially be touched to it. So foods that we eat, vegetables that we eat, um, as well as um, uh, our source of uh, drinking water. So it's important for us to know that um, what are you actually putting in your body. Mm -hmm. And just to keep this in perspective, we don't know at this point that the level in the study that the levels found were actually harmful, but it's, it raises a flag. Correct. This is sort of one piece of a better, a burger spectrum of um, dealing with chemicals that are in our natural environment. So the EPA has been looking into uh, different levels of this. If a person is um, worried about their levels in their own drinking water, they can go to their uh, municipality and see what the uh, contaminant levels are in their water itself. And the best thing to do is to drink uh, filtered uh, water um, and decrease your exposure. And what about somebody who has just had a baby and is mixing formula? Correct. That would be the same recommendation. So uh, from what the study had shown is they took healthy women who had no uh, symptoms, checked their blood and checked their urine, and then found evidence of this chemical in their um, uh, bloodstream and also in their urine that affects their thyroid. Long term, there are some studies that are looking at whether what does that have an effect on um, children's development and their brain development in the long run. And we're talking about disrupting hormones. This kind of reminds me as of bisphenol A or, or BPA. Correct, yeah. So the interesting thing about hormones is they have a lock and key mechanism. So they're supposed to have a key that fits each lock. But some of these chemicals actually fit those locks and can open them inadvertently. And so higher degrees of exposure to those chemicals open more locks, therefore uh, affects your um, hormone uh, function. So really just avoiding tap water is really the number one thing? Yeah, you tap water is probably the most common source. Uh, people who live around industrial areas, so where they use like a lot of uh, gasoline, um, rocket fuel, fertilizers, those kind of things. And also just uh, your fruits and vegetables, just making sure that you wash them uh, very well and getting off any uh, debris. And it is amazing when you're pregnant, you, all of a sudden you realize you go to put on your face cream and you, see, you have to think, oh my gosh, can I even put this on sure. my skin? You have to watch everything you do. Yeah, it's really uh, common. Uh, face cream, hair dye, fingernail painting, um, all those kind of things that uh, most women use on a daily basis. They become a heightened awareness while they're pregnant and get absorbed. And then we're more uh, this natural instinct to be conscientious about what we're putting in our body. Conscientious. One more thing to worry about. There's so much to worry about sure. when you're pregnant, but it's all for the sake of the baby. So yes, we're correct. happy to anyone, do it, right? Anyone has questions, <laughs> please just uh, talk about it with your doctor, have an honest conversation about things, and we'll sort of um, calm the hysteria sometimes of the of the of uh, what's out there. Always good advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Kynes.